we bought a puzzle and uh, it's a puzzle of the image of a painting, a portrait of Adela Blochbauer by the painter Gustav Klimt. It's a famous painting often known as the woman in gold. That's a film starring Helen Mirren and we watched it last night. The combination of that puzzle that we bought reminded me of another kind of connection in Austria of a woman who had to flee the Nazis, came to America. Her name is Liesl Salzer. And I like to tell the story about how Liesl Salzer, who showed in the same gallery as Gustav Klimt in Vienna, uh, and how her name was restored in a, in a way similar to the restitution of the woman in gold to its rightful owner, Maria Altman. I have a collection I call our Liesl Sauser collection. That's the story I'd like to tell right now. I keep the collection in this box. It consists of all the memorabilia I collected when I worked with Liesl Salzer. Sketches, for example. It's interesting how I came to know Liesl, two of my former students, Mark and Izumi, were hired by Liesl to make a video called Her Art and the Revival of Limoges Enamel. This is, Lisa, this is uh, Izumi talking to Lisa. Well, what happened was uh, they got the video made and they came to me and said, Liesl needs someone to distribute her video, someone to handle the duplication and the advertising and the mailing and the handling. And so I became her, her uh, video geek and handled uh, the distribution of the video. Well, I, Lisa was interested in technology of getting the video done, of course, and she wanted to make a book. And uh, I wanted to interest her in using the Internet. She was kind of interested, but mostly interested just getting the book out there and getting the videos out there. But I made a website for her anyway. And uh, so I put her on the Internet. And uh, in fact, I have a card here. She made a, a greeting card and it's a little image of a heart. I have a lot of these little hand painted cards. And it says to Bill Ritchie, who put me on the internet. What happened as a consequence is most interesting because Liesl was part of a painting group, Austrian Secession, I think it was called. And they moved to a, a village somewhere where they could get away and be by themselves, an artist colony. And that colony became of an interesting point to some historians uh, around the 1990s uh, who wanted to relocate locate those artists. They thought they were all gone, uh, but they discovered on the internet this website I made for Liesl. They realized that there was one person still living that was Liesl. It was very exciting. It led to their coming to America and finding her uh, buying works and putting them in a museum, celebrating that artist colony. Liesel uh, was given the Austrian Merit Cross of Gold. There was a celebration of it. Uh, the uh, representative from the Austrian embassy came up to Seattle and presented it at a banquet. It was a wonderful event. And uh, I like to think that the part that I played was important to the uh, uh, restoration, uh, the restitution, you might say, of Liesl's name in the history of Austrian painting of the early, 19th, of the early 20th century. So that's the story I like to tell, and uh, we thought about that after we watched the movie last night, uh, The Woman in Gold with Helen Mirren. And uh, I know as we, would, as we put the puzzle together, we're going to think about Liesl very often. Thanks for watching this story.